Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do something super glam, dark, and dramatic, and I really wanted to use the new reformulated Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. This is not a new palette, it's just reformulated and has a beautiful new packaging. So let me show you what it looks like on the inside. It is so pretty, and this shadow right here, I just needed to try it out. So this is the look that I created using this palette. So if you wanna stick around to see how I created this look, then just keep on watching. I'm going to the Sigma Beauty Warm Neutrals eyeshadow palette. The first shadow I'm picking up is Toasty. I'm going in with my Sigma E38 Diffuse Crease Brush and I'm going to start running this shadow through my crease. This is going to be my transition shade. This shadow on its own is so pretty. I love it. I'm now going into After Hours. I'm switching over to my Sigma E25 Blending Brush and I'm going to start running this through my crease. All the way into the inner corner. As a base, I'm using the Galactic Metallic Shadow Stick in Tuxedo. I'm going to apply this shadow stick all over my lid. And then with my E54 Medium Sweeper Brush by Sigma, I'm going to try to blend out the lid to make sure there's no patchiness. And then this is going to take some time, but try to start blending out your crease area. It's not going to blend out perfectly, but this is just a base for the other shadows. So now I'm picking up more of After Hours and I'm going to start really darkening up my crease area. Just going back and forth. Now I'm applying the brush right in between where that shadow stick is and then my crease. So that sets the shadow stick into my crease area and helps to blend that out even more. And I'm just going to keep packing on that shadow through my crease just to keep darkening that up and getting it until the darkness that I want. Then I'm kind of winging out the shadows out here and then going back into Toasty to really blend out the crease. I'm picking up Fool's Gold and now I'm picking up the shadow on my finger and I'm going to press down and swipe onto my lid to really pack that shadow on. And look at how beautiful the reflex are in the shadow. So I just folded up a piece of paper towel just to make it really nice and sharp on the edge. And I want to just sharpen this outer corner right here just really, really lightly. Look at that. Looks so good now. Now my lower lash line I want to keep really soft but still just add a little bit of darkness and depth on the outer corner to really elongate my eyes. So I'm first picking up Toasty on my E54 medium sweeper brush and sweeping that along my lash line. And then picking up a little bit of After Hours, I'm going to sweep this just in the outer half of my lower lash line. To line my waterline and tight line, I'm going to the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Perversion. I'm now going to line my upper waterline. And then I'm going to line my lower waterline. I'm going to Benefit Cookie Highlight. Now using my Sigma E21 Smudge Brush, I'm going to highlight my inner corner. I'm now going to apply some Mascara and False Lashes, and I'm going to the Molly May X Tati Lashes in After Hours. And that's the eye look done. Now for my lips, I'm going to go into the Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Manila, and mine is still in its own packaging, but I love this shade, so let's apply this. And that is it. This is the completed look of my sparkly black smoky eye using the Sigma Warm Neutrals palette. I hope you guys enjoyed. I am in love with this look. I love that sparkle effect to the smoky eye and this palette is so incredible. The reformulated shadows are amazing, blend so nicely. The pigmentation is incredible. So definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, that'll be right here as well as down description box and also lists of all the products I used today along with my brush set with Sigma that I used to create this look will be listed down below for you guys to find everything easier. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload and I think that should be it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!